hi the aim of uh, most of the students is to get into a product based company right so that is why you are preparing either you are preparing for gate or preparing for dsa your aim is to get into product based companies now there are certain students who want to become professors or assistant professors in good colleges they have to definitely do mtech and definitely do phd if they want to have a career in academia right but then for those who want to get into product based companies there are two ways one way is you write gate and then you get into mtech that is one way and the other way is you can prepare for dsa and directly get into a product based company right now the question is which one is better so i will tell you with stats how how much preparation is required for both of them what is the efforts needed and then you decide whether you want to go for gate or dsa okay so basically this is the gate syllabus now in gate syllabus there are many topics which will never be asked by any product based company in an interview for example engineering mathematics digital logic computer organization and theory of computation compiler design to some extent having a knowledge in operating system is good and sql is important to some extent but most of the companies don't ask even that and then computer networks is never asked aptitude is never asked so if you observe it the main topics that will be helpful for you to get a job in product based company are data structures and algorithms in gate but then you have to prepare for many other things in order to crack gate exam and then get into iits okay and then what is the amount of time required to prepare for gate so on average you will be spending around 1000 hours to prepare for gate you have to prepare for theory and then do the practice questions and then revision and then test series so on average 1000 hours is what is required by an average student this is the amount of time that is required now what happens after you crack gate so basically you are going to do 2 years of mtech and during this mtech you are anyway supposed to prepare for dsa right so if you crack gate again you are supposed to prepare for dsa it is not like since you are from an iit companies will take you without in depth knowledge on dsa even if you are from an iitn or if you are a non iitn still companies ask the same level of questions so you have to prepare for dsa even after you crack gate and what if you don't crack gate so basically there are two options one option is you have to prepare for gate again but you have to wait for one year one long year to give the second attempt right or you can drop the plans of gate and you can prepare for dsa so what i mean to say is either you crack gate or you uh, fail in gate you have to definitely prepare for dsa so dsa is that important that is what i mean to say now coming to dsa what is that how much how what is the syllabus and how long should you be preparing so i have prepared a, a set of 300 questions which are going to be sufficient in order to crack any company if you are preparing for the interviews and i have taken all these questions and i have made the excel sheet and i have uploaded the excel sheet on my linkedin account and the link to it is given in the description okay the post link is given in the description and you go to that post and you can get the entire syllabus anyway i will run through it so so you have to prepare all these topics first is arrays these are the questions you are supposed to prepare on arrays and then strings these are the questions you are supposed to prepare in strings backtracking <clears throat> these are the questions and then bit manipulation these are the questions heaps these are the questions you are supposed to prepare linked list stack binary search binary search with search space dynamic programming it is very important greedy sliding window trees graphs so all these 300 questions you need to prepare right now how much time is required to prepare for dsa it is not 1000 definitely it varies from person to person but on average i can say that 300 hours of preparation is sufficient for dsa if you prepare for 300 hours you can apply for any company and you can get a job if you are confident on dsa okay 
how do you apply for product based companies now if you are in an iit generally companies come for campus recruitment and you you can directly get hired but if you are not in any campus where you have campus interviews then you have to apply for jobs outside only but don't worry there are a lot of jobs and people are getting calls you will definitely get a call if you follow this method so one is go to the careers tab on the company websites and you can directly apply for a job you will definitely get a call and if you want to speed up this process go to linkedin and find out the employees in that company and ask them for referrals they will definitely give referrals the reason is if you get placed through a referral then that person is going to be paid nearly 1 lakh to 1.5 lakh as a referral bonus so which means it is beneficial for them many people are waiting for people to refer right so referrals getting referrals on linkedin is very easy so this is one way and the other way is you can also follow hacker rank and hacker earth for coding competitions if you are good with dsa you will be able to crack the coding competitions and you will be able to get a job so this is the easier path now what if you fail in an interview so if you fail in gate exam you have to wait for one year but if you fail in an interview of a product based company you don't have to worry about it there are hundreds of other companies to which you can apply for you don't have to wait for one year really if you are prepared with dsa so that is the syllabus of gate and dsa and the number of hours required to prepare and how to apply and all that now let's see point by point which one is better so preparation for dsa is very less only two subjects and 300 problems right and you can also prepare for 500 many people they prepare from 300 to 500 problems that is up to you depending on the time you can practice on lead code now gate is uncertain which means if you prepare for one year sincerely there is no guarantee that you may get a rank right so there are many factors which are not in your hand which may change in the during the three hours of exam anything can happen during those three hours and you may lose marks okay so it is an uncertain path and gate is a long path you have to prepare for one year and then do masters for two years and after three years you are going to get a job in broad based companies but if you look at dsa it is just six months you have to prepare for six months and immediately you will get a job and going forward degrees are not really that that important i have seen in fact i have done podcasts with many people who are not from btech background people with bcom sorry bs bca mca are getting the same jobs and same salaries as iitns you know what if you are an iitn or if you have an mtech degree companies will not offer you more salary they have for a particular position they have a fixed salary and that is what is going to be uh, given to you either you are a bca student mca student btech or mtech everyone is treated equally so degrees really doesn't matter okay then think about it if you are going for gate for a degree is it really important is it really worth the time okay and finally you may choose to prepare for gate or dsa i will be guiding students for both both for gate and dsa so if you want to go for dsa i'll be there to help you out if you want to go for gate i'll be there to help you out okay you choose wisely which one is better for you thank you